Urban warfare. It's undoubtedly the deadliest and most brutal kind of combat any soldier can face on the battlefield. Here's why. Death can come from in front, below, behind, or to the side of an attacker. Since there are so many ideal fighting positions, defenders can choose the exact moment they want to engage an attacking force, which forces the attackers to move slowly. Even scarier still, a small unit of defenders can rapidly relocate between defensive positions through alleyways or even tunnels to re-engage the attackers from different angles. Large apartment buildings, banks, offices, and other hardened structures are often impervious to even the toughest kind of ordnance an attacker can throw at them. Because of this, it's not uncommon for a small group of defenders to be able to hold off entire divisions of troops such as the infamous case of Pavlov's house in Stalingrad. To defeat these kind of structures, soldiers in the past had a variety of weapons like flamethrowers and white phosphorus that could force an enemy into submission. However, on modern battlefields, soldiers must frequently resort to blowing these kinds of structures to smithereens and combing through the rubble before advancing.